It's an honor for me tonight to be here with uh, Professor Richard Fry and Dr. Eden Nabby. The Richard Fry uh, and Dr. Eden Nabby Fund for Culture has been uh, the catalyst for bringing part of tonight's program together. And their sponsorship has made the first half of our evening possible. Thank you very much for joining us. And I know you've traveled from quite a far to be here to uh, see uh, your donation at work. So we appreciate you joining us. Um, I will start with you, Professor Fry. Uh, I would like you to tell me a little bit about yourself and what kind of things you've been involved in. I know you have a, a big uh, a background in Iranian studies, and also uh, you're currently studying about empires, in, including the ancient Assyrian Empire. Oh yes, I've been, for years and years I've been working on this whole question of uh, empires. And um, the Assyrian Empire, uh, as you may know, it gave so much to the rest of the world. When you look at the Persepolis, for example, in Iran, the borrowings from Nineveh are, are just overwhelming. They're just overwhelming. I mean, all kinds, uh, we can see it physically. The uh, uh, lion-headed uh, uh, animals, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the coloring of, of, of uh, sculptures and so on. There's, there's so much of that that it's, it's, it's incredible what the, uh, what the Achaemenids borrowed from the Assyrians. Excellent. Thank you very much. And uh, Dr. Nabi, I know that uh, you are um, a cultural historian and uh, you've done a lot of work and uh, you have a vision associated with tonight's program. Can you tell us a little bit about um, how it evolved and what got you to the point to uh, sponsor part of tonight's evening, tonight's program? Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to discuss Hannibal Alhas who I met rather briefly just the month before he passed away at his home and also to mention my parents uh, Mishael Nabi and Lily Yohanan Nabi both of whom were very much concerned with Assyrian culture uh, and both were accomplished in that culture they had been educated in the language as I am not um, so this was an opportunity to bring together these two very important groups of people that were concerned with Assyrian culture and who have passed away now. So it was natural to put them together and honor Hannibal Alphas, who still has so much that we can work on and contribute to the promotion of Assyrian culture. The entire family, the Alphas family, has made so much, uh, so has taken so many steps to advance Assyrian culture in the last century that we really need to honor all of them eventually, their poetry uh, and their paintings. So this was uh, something that the Navy Fry Assyrian Fund for is honored to have been able to contribute to. Well, we appreciate it. Um, I'm not sure uh, if you know yet or not, but there's over 100 people that are going to be working somewhere on stage, backstage, to bring the poem that the late Hannibal al has put together um, to really bring it to life in music. And um, it couldn't have been possible without your assistance, so we appreciate that. Now, um, being a cultural historian, you um, must want to always weave the fabric of Assyrian life through your work. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? I think that one of the problems that needs to be resolved is to create among Assyrians, dispersed as we are, a narrative of our history, beginning from the ancient period through the Syriac Christian period and on into the present. We were in the process of doing that and then we were hit with the genocide. And that genocide and subsequent actions in Iran, Iraq, Turkey, and now Syria are scattering us still further. We need to be concerned about preserving those threads of our culture and pulling them together. And events like this are going to do that. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Fry, um, one of my questions is, 
you have studied empires and we're obviously the offspring of one of the greatest empires in the world and now we're all coming together and the Assyrian Aid Society has been the reason tonight for bringing us all together. What in your, how could you weave what you have studied and what you have looked at and, and show that that's a reason for us to come together? What is the cause that's bringing us all together? Well, you know, uh, in, in many ways, the old Assyrian Empire was like this country, like America. Why? Because it took in people from all over, the Elamites, the Babylonians and the like, and uh, it, it's really remarkable that uh, uh, when they were assimilated into the Assyrian Empire, they were allowed to continue their religions. Even uh, uh, shrines were built in Nineveh to these uh, local gods and the like. So in many respects, we have a continuation of uh, uh, Assyrian culture, as you said, right down to the present. But uh, the people have forgot the past, and they shouldn't do that because there are lessons that can be taught from the past. And that's one of them that I think, uh, sure, empires come and go, but the people remain. That's what's important. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, I know that when uh, Tony Khoshaba, the, the visionary behind tonight's program, approached you, the vision was a little different. And tonight, it's become a big ensemble uh, with a sold-out crowd. Did you ever imagine, Dr. Naby, that it would become what it is today? I have great expectations of Tony. Tony and I have been working together for several years. This is not the first time. But this is going to be, I think, his biggest effort to date. So I'm very excited to see it. So the Assyrian Aid Society, as you know, is um, instrumental in helping our brothers and sisters in the homeland. Um, what draws you personally to helping? I know the arts is important. But what draws you to really the mission of the Assyrian Aid Society? My interest is in culture. And I think that the Assyrian Aid Society is one of the best run organizations that we have. And that is why I trust it. And if I trust it and it helps to promote the arts, then it has my vote. Excellent. And, and uh, Professor Fry, one thing I want to ask you is um, a personal question. What got you interested in learning about the empires and learning more about Iran? What was, what was it that sparked your interest? Well, you know, one thing, they, they, people should come together. I, I think it's rather sad. I remember the Armenians were divided among themselves politically and religiously. We brought them together. Now, this should also happen with the Assyrians. Not that they should be divided into others, but they, they should all unite They're to work together to one common purpose. And I think this is extremely important, in my opinion. Now, I've always been interested in the minorities, different kinds of minorities in the Middle East, Zoroastrians, the Yazidis, uh, all of these people. And I think that uh, if, if they, we're losing something if they, dis if they disappear, and we should not let this happen. It should come together, and I, I, I just hope that Assyrians, like other people, will not give up their culture and, and, and their, their background. Because once they do that, they've lost. They've lost themselves. They've lost their, the empires are gone, yes, but the people, it's, it, it must continue with the people, in my opinion. Well, I believe that your generosity and your love for our culture is going to help us just do that, is uh, allow it to continue. And today, I believe, is the beginning of the Assyrian Renaissance, and it couldn't have been possible without you guys. So thank you very much for making the pilgrimage out to California and for your love and your donation and your generosity to the Assyrian Aid Society. Thank you very much.